We're presented with the case of a 52-year-old lady who presents with a mass in her left breast, which she felt when she was showering. She's otherwise very healthy, postmenopausal since the age of 49 with two children. Her family history is negative for cardiovascular disease or breast cancer. On examination, she has a mass in the left breast, which measures just over two centimeters. Her mammogram shows a mass in the left breast. She then has an ultrasound which confirms the mass in her left breast measuring about two centimetres and also a suspicious auxiliary lymph node. A biopsy is performed of the left breast mass which shows invasive ductal cancer, grade two, estrogen receptor negative, progesterone receptor negative and HER2 three plus by IHC. She also has an aspirate done of the left auxiliary lymph node which shows is positive for metastatic cancer. Systemic imaging does not reveal any evidence of metastatic disease. She receives neoadjuvant chemotherapy with docetaxel, carboplatin, trastuzumab, and pertuzumab for six cycles. She subsequently undergoes breast conserving surgery with removal of auxiliary lymph nodes and has a complete pathologic complete response. She does very well with the chemotherapy apart from having some diarrhea which required holding of the pertuzumab for a cycle, then resolves to grade one. This lady presents with a pretty typical presentation of a HER2-positive breast cancer. Notable things here are the size of the cancer and also the fact that she does have an involved lymph node. So I think most of us would go ahead and give her preoperative treatment. The regimen that was chosen was completely appropriate with docetaxel, carboplatin, trastuzumab, and pertuzumab. That's generally my preference in terms of uh, treating patients preoperatively. Uh, also notable is the fact that the cancer is estrogen receptor negative. Typically, cancers that are estrogen receptor negative and HER2 positive are more likely to have a complete response to preoperative chemotherapy and, and HER2-directed therapy as was seen in this case.